It's nine years since the people of Thailand's capital city got to choose their governor. If the polls are right, political heavyweight Chat Chat Sitipan is the candidate they'll send to City Hall. He's on the ballot as an independent, but there's little doubt in which political corner he stands. And that, that's what Bangkok needs. You need a governor for the people, focus people-centric, you know, let's fund to their day-to-day -day problems, improve their day-to-day problems, that one thing. And so you need the, the governor who have a vision, have a strategy to bring the city to the future, too. so you need two, two jobs. Meanwhile, Asawin Kwan Muang was appointed governor in 2016 by Payus Chanocha, the former general who seized power in a coup in 2014 and still holds it. The incumbent elected governor was sacked. Like Chat Chat, the former senior policeman stresses that he's standing as an independent, but is largely viewed as the government's candidate. The candidates stress local issues. Even so, the poll will likely be influenced as much by its timing as its topics. The political atmosphere is febrile, and analysts say many voters will want to send a message. People are fed up. Uh, they're fed up because uh, the economy uh, is going nowhere. There's no um, vision ahead. There's no future. That's why young people are protesting. And uh, General Bayud is way out of his league. So I think that uh, we will see uh, with the voters uh, saying something here uh, for the Bangkok governor election. And that will be um, a harbinger, a sign of things to come for the broader polls uh, for Thailand. 31 candidates are on the ballot form. They represent a wide range of agendas, from strongly reformist to deeply conservative. There are 4.4 million registered voters.